you're here for the first time, also in the video description, there are links for GitHub repository where, where you can try the source code by yourself. And there you will also find the links for community support and all reference we are using through the course. Please, if you find this useful, share with other devs and also tick the bell to receive notifications about new modules. If you have any question, please reach out in the Discord server and or you can also ask in the Stack Overflow. Here we have another example of a previous module. In the second module, we have this example. In this example, we have a small uh, example of using current parameting uh, in pure script and it basically uh, logs this first line here and evaluates Q1 uh, passing the answer C. This log, congrats, your answer is correct. And evaluate Q1 is a function that takes char and returns a string. We build this uh, evaluate Q1 function using make question passing a given string where the uppercase letter or char Gonna be the correct one so in this case we make the question here and this gonna uh, because we're recording evaluate q1 with the char here this char gonna fulfill the char here and we're gonna uh, fulfill this char here with the value c and we're gonna parameter this because we are using this one here so it's gonna be this this line here in the parameter and with this value here we answer congrats your answer is correct the same happens for the evaluate Q1, but in this case, the, we are trying to build a question with uh, more than four uh, characters. So this question is kind of invalid, so it should not be evaluated. We, don't have, we, we cannot really evaluate that. So what happens when I call anything with the function that have been made this way? Uh, we're going to parameter against uh, this uh, line here where the length of the given string uh, is more than four. So we should have four turns. Just remember that we did that in the past. Just have to remember what we, what we did here. And the third one is the correct one, uh, but we are like in line that we are building the question and at the same time evaluate the question, the given character. How we could improve that uh, with type class? Let's try to do that. So here's the same solution, but but using type class and more uh, strict data types instead of just strings. So let's first evaluate here. So here we have the main function logging some some strings, and the first line we have evoke key C and C. So this evoke function is return some 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 string. And we are building a question with this type constructor key, okay? And we are passing to that, we are telling to that question that uh, the correct um, alternative is the alternative C. And C here is also a type constructor. So we have a type constructor here and a type constructor here. The, we, so we build the question with this part here and we evaluate this question to see if it's correct with the alternative C. So using the same type constructor C. Uh, with that, the question have been answered correctly. We have this uh, log here. Congrats, your answer is correct. And uh, in our solution now, we have a more powerful solution because it allows us to not only use C as alternative A, B, C, D, for example, we could also use numbers. So here we have the second line. Uh, we are building a question. And this dollar sign represents the parentheses as we saw before. So we have a parentheses around this N4 and, and 5 here. So we are passing to this question the, 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 the value for the type constructor N, which represents our alternative, a numeric alternative. And this N, as you can see here, let me show you. We have this type here, 1, 2. And you can see this N. Uh, type constructor and it has two polymorphic values so we, what what this mean we could have like inches here could have chars we could have anything here could have float double anything in place of this e okay? and we need to to pass this e we need to fulfill this e with the type constructor n so in this case we are fulfilling this e with 4 and 5 
and the reason is simple we have uh, one two here and what this mean we are building alternatives from one up to the first e and that has been hard coded okay i'll show you that very soon but that has been hard coded in the code so the first value here on this end is going to represent the 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 uppermost value so the upper value so what in this case is going to be one to four so one two three and four right and uh, what is happening here is that we are trying the second value here is going to be like the alternate the, the correct alternative so in this case uh we had the c right and now we are using the five number the number five and of course you're is you're probably asking why how that's possible if i just if i only have four alternatives how i can have the correct answer of five and that actually a good question and the answer is you can <laughs> uh, and i'm trying to use uh, the same example we had before with that five alter uh, trying to build a question with five alternatives and see what happens you know, uh, when try to evaluate that and so i'm for forcing uh a, a invalid value in the, this five see what happens so uh, imagine that we have built this question here okay we have this question now with this any value and this is a value that for the type perspective correctly so because we have fulfilled this four and five here so this n e now in this case in this question is going to be uh one two inch right up one one two inch type so our question starts this value and then uh, because we say this question is correct i try to uh, answer with this five too so as we know this five is not uh, a valid alternative for the question because the question just have four values and not five but let's see how it's going to behave uh, calling eval that way we have the answer the question correct answer must be least less or equal to than for so in that perspective is the same thing that we had before here your question should have four alternatives in the past now we have this example the question the cor cor the question correct answer must be less or equal to four so the error happens in the future and and i try to evolve the question not when i trying to build the question you know that's important uh feature of this and the third in the third line on the other side we have the sorry your answer is incorrect because you're trying to answer in the incorrect alternative the correct two so uh, we are using three here and the correct is actually true so besides being in the range of of the alternative so one two and three the the answer is incorrect so uh, we should have a this uh incorrect string here and the last case is uh, a case where everything happened successfully so we have built this question here using one to five as alternative so we have the alternative one two three four and five and the correct one is the two so we have built this question here and we are we we answer this question with the value two so uh as we expected we have congrats your answer is correct so let's see what we have inside of this evil function this evil function is a function that takes uh the, the type of q here and if you take a look at the q type constructor you're gonna see this is a question that it receives correct and viewed with the type constructor key using this correct okay so uh in this case uh this is going to be a question and this the correct thing here is going to be uh the alternative type okay uh and the correct one in our construction right not here the type because this is not clear in the type we just have a placeholder here for the type here but we are we are building this question type and in place of this polymorphic uh, value here we are fulfilling this with the type of uh, the given and we, as we know the the c here in this case the type constructor c uh returns the a b c d type so in this case uh the first line here this eval function is going to receive a question a b c d as the first argument right as the first as the first type uh, and as the second type 
uh, eval is going to receive a bcd because c type constructor returns a bcd type so if you take a look at the eval function now uh, we should probably uh, get some type for question abcd and abcd okay and let's see the second case here the second case we have a question the same question but inside of this value here the second value so the value that we find the correct here we're going to have the type for n and because we are using n type constructor here and we are passing int values here okay uh, this one two e is going to be int and as we 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 can see here both values here should have the same type because we are using the same e here so n here returns what one two one two int in this case right because we are using n with int value so the compiler is figuring out okay is is using type inference to to define uh what is the type of of the argument here pass it to the key type constructor and this is going to be one two int okay so in the second line here the first argument is going to be one two int and the second of course int so we can uh, already see a, a, a pattern here the same type we pass here is the same that we pass here the same type we pass here is the same we pass here so the same we pass here here and here is the same same here 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 uh, from now on it's the same thing We're gonna have always here um, a question uh, one two inch in our other case here so we have these two possible uh, evil uh, type signatures and as we know when we have when we need to overload a function with many types not just one type uh, we have two solutions one is with uh, wrapping that in, in in data types so we could have like a data types that has a type constructor and a polymorphic value like we have here we want to you know another way is using type class that is the way that we are doing here using type class what are you gonna do? We're gonna create a type class for this ev having this eval member, right? So I have created this evil type class right here. As you can see, evil type class here. We have something here, we have some review. I'll show that I'll show you that then. Uh but with that in mind, we have created this class, class evil here. Okay, and you can see that it has this evil member, right? you can see that evo receives some key and some pe what is that you can see by the type signature that key e is the first argument of the evo function and if you take a look here the evo function the first value you're passing the question data type right uh, in the the first line is going to be the question abc and the second line and 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 beyond is going to be the question and one 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 two int right so uh this key e here in the the first uh argument of the evil function represents the question the for key and e represent this polymorphic type here correct type so key is going to be the type for the question Okay, and E is the type for the alternative. So we have ABCD, one to uh, one to a given value, which is inch in this case. Okay, so it means that whatever we instance that that evil cl type class, we need to have instance that handle questions and alternatives according to its types. Okay. The second argument here, we receive a, a given B. Okay. So this is another polymorphic type. So we, you can place as many polymorphic types you want in the type signature, and you can also have many members, not only one. Okay. Um. 
but what I'm gonna use here uh, in the in the member, you're gonna need to declare here at the class type signature. Okay, so in the class definition, you're gonna need to reference all uh, polymorph uh, types of the members. So because we have key E and E B, we need to reference all those guys here. And the B is going to be the alternative, in this case, C, right? So the C here is the type constructor for ABCD. So this B is going to be ABCD. And because E is also the value from correct here, it's going to be matched against ABCD. And you can be wondering why you have different polymorph types for the first the first argument e the first internal value of the question so the alternatives here and another one for b you could have different types by this uh, definition and we don't have actually this here right because we have this uh, a, B, C, D here and C here, right? And we have the int here and int here. Uh, well, it happens that this E in the second case here is not int. This E is going to be the type of N type constructor. So what what is the type of N type constructor? Take a look here, n is the type, the type of the n, so the type that the type constructor n returns is 1, 2. 1, 2, something. 1, 2, int. So in this case, we have 1, 2, int as e, and another type just int for b. So that explains why we have different. Uh, polymorph types e and b here okay it 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 feels like the right to place e here but is not because the first one is wrapped in this uh one two data type here and the second is just uh um the second the b is just um is just a plain int okay so we have the type class for evil here right but it does not explain what is this Keep that in mind, and I'm going to explain this very soon to you. So let's look for the type class instance. Okay. So we already saw the, the question here, the, the, the data type. So we have the question, we have a BCD, one, two. Let's look at the instance for evil. So we have the instance for evil right here. And we have one instance for the type question fulfilling that key and for some e so i'm showing you that you can build instance also with polymorphic type you can like fairly fulfill uh the requirements to to implement the function what that means is that you can build functions you can build instance that partially partially need the definition that we had in the type class definition so in this case, we just need to know the question to build this evil function in this scenario, right? Uh, how is that possible? Well, uh, we can can look here at the evil key R. Uh, so we receive the question key, okay? Question. We actually don't care about the inner working of R. So we just refer to that R as as we do with for hour, we, we did with for hour before, no? So the only difference for this polymorphic type and the previous polymorphic value in the function is that the, the function demands that for hour, this is just pure script syntax, and in type class you don't need to use for hour. That's the only difference. But the behavior is the same. So we have a polymorphic type here and we have a function argument here. So for that error, we don't care about what error is. We just care about this 
diseases here. So we can use air this way with equal function. And because we are using equal function, if you take a look, let me show you. This is the equal function from the data equal. This is exported uh, in Prelude, so we can just import in Prelude here. But if you if you take a look at the Prelude module, you're gonna see that the, this points to this uh, operator right here. And this operator is an infix operator to data equal dot e, e key. And if you look at this member here, you're gonna see, okay, there's this equal here in the data equal. So this is the guy that this equal points to, okay? So we have this function here. So we have a polymorphic, um, value for that e which is the polymorphic type of this uh type class equal okay and as you can see the first argument and the second argument are the same of the same type it's not actually the same value but is the same type okay and if they are equal it should return true if it they are uh, if they are not equal, it should return false because this boolean have only true or false. The only thing that we know about this error here in this context is that this error, because we are trying to use this with equal, you know, if I remove this uh, constraint here, uh, the compiler will throw showing that I need to constrain on equal e. Uh, so this tells to the compiler that, okay, I'm expecting in my instance of this ev uh, evil type class, I'm expecting this error to have, it can be anything, it just need to have an equal instance. So with an equal instance, we can call equal that way. So we can call equal uh, that way here in the function type class instance implementation. So because uh, we're relying on this equal, I need to constrain on equal e. So uh, again, what R is, uh, I know that by the usage here, evil, this uh, second value is going to be the answer, right? It's going to be the answer, so it's going to be the alternative. But I don't need to constrain here. I don't need to add this type, strict this type here. Uh, this allow us to use evil with any type for alternatives, not only the ones, not only a single, uh, a single definition, right? And beyond that, it also allows us to use the same function and not have like evil uh, ABCD, evil one two, evil, uh, I don't know, whatever, you know? Uh, we can have just a single evil function and have many different calls to the same function. This is pretty similar to overloading in OOP uh, programming if you're coming from there. So what else? We have also this key and this uh, this is not a polymorphic type. This we, we can we know that this is a question. So we're gonna handle that as a question. You know, I'm gonna use type constructor for question, I'm gonna use everything from question. Because I know this is question because I have placed this question here. But I'm calling review with that key, key value here. And why I'm I'm using review key, if you take a look at the review, you're gonna see that this is a it ha it, it is from the review type class. You know, and it has another type signature. So we have this review here. And you're gonna see that why we have like we have the constraint for equal. Why we don't have a constraint for review too? And be wondering that. The reason is pretty simple. We have that constraint not at the instance level, but we have that constraint at the type class level. So you can see that. We have a constraint in the type in the type class definition, so it's basically a constraint that's gonna gonna be inheriting by all instance. So uh, I don't like this inherited word because it it comes from EOOP, but uh, it basically means that whatever instance I'm implementing here is gonna be gonna have like a default default constraint on the type class level because we have this uh, review constraint in the type class as this the same way we 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 are allowed to use equal because we have the equal e constraint here 
we are allowed to use review key because we have the review constraint at the type class uh, definition. Okay. Uh, if you take a look here, this is just my terminal here, my, my liga to front uh, messing with things, but you can see the operator here is this one here. This is different from this one. This one is for instance. Okay, this one we use this in instance, and in type class we use this one. They they have different names. Here's a, a guess it's an inheritance, and here is a constraint. So there's this difference uh, between semantics in peer script. If we're going to Haskell, for example, they are the same thing. They even the same operators. I mean, the goal is the same. You know, the goal is to put constraints, but in this case, is that the type class definition, and here's the implementation level so because we have this review we can use review key and if you take a look at key and the type class here you're gonna see uh, we have this key for so we have those polymorphic uh, types here and we we have this review member function which is gonna take the key and e so the the type here is gonna be matched against that so in this case review key because this is a question and we know that question has something inside you know, this question correct here, okay? So this is gonna be question A, B, C, D, question one, two, and so on. So this key is gonna represent the question, and this E is gonna be, represents the inner type of the question. So this this case is gonna be A, B, C, D, or one, two. So E here is gonna represent that A, B, C, D, or one, two. And the, re, the, the type class also tell us that uh, this function review here is gonna return the, the E. So we're gonna like, we're gonna like unwrap this 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 value inside of the question. So we're asking for the question. Hey, question. What is the the correct alternative? That's what review is gonna do. Okay. So we need to instance that review for whatever we're gonna use that. We need to have instance. If you try to use a function, don't worry too much about instance. I mean, if you have a um, if you have you you can but you can be wondering. What happens if I have like many types and I use this with a new type that has not ever had an, a, an instance? What are you gonna What are you gonna happen with my code? It's gonna it's gonna build. The compiler will try to figure out uh, to find uh, an instance for you, but if he he can't find an instance, so he's gonna try everything and he's gonna say to you, "I could not find an, an instance for for your given type. Please create this one." So it's gonna show you how to create an instance. It's gonna show you the type signature of this new an instance that you need to create for this combination of types. So do not you don't need to worry too much about that. Let's back to our evil here. So we have the evil. So we test if this review question. So we're trying to reveal in the question correct alternative. So we are getting out the e value for that. So that alternative, and we are testing if this e. Uh, value here inside of this question is equal to this given error here, which is the same E type. So everything great so far. So we are testing if the alternative in the question, the correct one, is actually equal to the given on evil.